हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ संजय उटगे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस कॉम्बिनेशनल लॉजिक सर्किट्स लर्निंग आउटकम्स एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स will be able to analyze various combinational logic circuits outline introduction part 1 analog signal introduction part 2 digital signal digital systems combinational logic circuits question answer functions of combination logic circuits references introduction part 1 analog signal analog signal is a time varying quantity that can carry information a signal is a function that conveys information about the behavior or attributes of some phenomena analog signal is a continuous signal represented by a sine wave described by the amplitude period or frequency and phase it has no fixed range analog signal is more prone to the distortion so this is the graphical representation of a analog signal it's a sinusoidal quantity it may be a voltage or current as i said earlier this is a continuous signal the meaning of the continuous signal can be explained with the help of this waveform suppose uh, this is a voltage waveform whose positive maximum is 10 volt and negative maximum is minus 10 volt it means that it means that it is uh, uh, having <coughs> it uh, this uh, this analog uh, voltage or sinusoidal voltage will have uh, values starting from 0 to 10 plus 10 volt or 0 to minus 10 volt it means a continuous signal will have all possible values between 0 to 10 for example starting from 0.001 then 0.1 volt 0.12 volt 0.13 volt 0.14 volt up to 0.20 volt uh, then 0.3 volts 0.4 volts 0.5 volts up to 0.10 volts then 0.20 0.30 0.40 0.50 0.50 up to 1 volt then 2 volt then 3 volt 3.5 4 4.5 5 5.5 5.6 6 volt 6.5 volt 7 volt 7.5 7.6 volt 8 volt 8.5 volt 8.6 8.7 9 volt 9.5 9.99 and 10 volts so the meaning of the continuous signal means this will have all possible value it will cover all the possible values between 0 to 10 and similar is the case for 0 to minus 10 introduction part 2 it's a digital signal a digital signal has a discrete value that carries information in binary form digital signal is represented by a square wave digital signal is described by bit rate and bit intervals digital signal has a finite range that is between 0 and 1 digital signal is less prone to distortion it carries data in the form of binary that is 0 and 1 digital signal used for the transmission in a computer system the meaning of the transmission means uh, the data Uh, can be stored in the form of zeros and one 
इट मे बी अ इमेज और इट मे बी इंफॉर्मेशन और डेटा ऑल्सो कैन बी रिट्राइड फ्रॉम अ कॉम्प्यूटर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ जीरोज एंड वंस सो वॉट आर प्रोसेसिंग डन विद द कॉम्प्यूटर इट इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ डिजिटल सिग्नल विच इज अ स्ट्रीम ऑफ बाइनर जीरोज एंड वन इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट टू अगेन इट इज द डिजिटल सिग्नल दिस इज अ एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ स्क्वेर वेव विच इज विच इज कॉल्ड एज अ डिजिटल सिग्नल लुक एट दिस वेव फॉर्म इट हैज गॉट ओनली टू लेवल्स जीरो वोल्ट एंड द फाइव वोल्ट इट मीन्स दैट दिस डिजिटल सिग्नल हैज गॉट ओनली टू वैल्यूज और वी कैन से इन अदर टर्म्स इट पोजेसेस ओनली टू डिस्क्रिट और डिस्टिंक्ट वैल्यूज दैट इज ओनली जीरो वोल्ट एंड द फाइव वोल्ट ओके सो डिजिटल सिग्नल विल नॉट हैव अनदर वैल्यू दैट इज इट विल नॉट हैव अ वैल्यू अपार्ट फ्रॉम जीरो वोल्ट और फाइव वोल्ट ओके लाइक लाइक अनालॉग सिग्नल इट मे है इट मे हैव वैल्यू ऑल पॉसिबल वैल्यूज बिटवीन जीरो टू फाइव here we will have only two uh, uh, values that is 0 volt and 5 volt so uh, this can be 0 volt can be termed as logic 0 or logic low level whereas 5 volt is can be treated as lo logic 1 or logic high digital system digital system stores data in discrete form as we uh, as uh, this has been discussed earlier the opposite is an analog system which stores the data in a continuous way digital system stores the information in a binary way that is every bit of information cannot have a value other than 0 or 1 or off or on the input and output of this system is two binary value which is 0 and 1 digital system digital systems are designed to store to process and to communicate information in digital form they are found in a wide range of applications including process control communication systems digital instruments and consumer products the digital computer more commonly called the computer is an example of typical digital system so in summary the digital system uh, it takes the data in the form of binary uh, form uh, and it uh, communicate or it processes this binary data and Uh, it is used for the uh, further process control it can be used in the communication system it can be used in the digital instrumentation system in the communication system that is from analog to digital communication we are using optical fiber digital systems digital circuits there are two types of digital circuits one is the combinational circuits second one is the sequential circuits now let us see what is a combinational logic circuits outputs at any instant of time depends on upon the inputs present at that instant of time it means that combination logic circuit it is a digital circuit okay and the output will be present only when there is there only when the inputs are present so there is no memory in this circuit it means that the output uh, that uh, this combination logic circuit will respond that means it will give the output only when the input is present so we don't need additional circuitry as a memory element it consists of input variables logic gates and output variables this input and output variables simply we can term, term it as input data and the output data combination logic circuits are memory less digital logic circuits whose output at any instant in time 
depends only on the combination of its inputs. Combination logic circuits. The result is that combination logic circuits have no feedback and any changes to the signals being applied to their input will immediately have an effect at the output. Combination, combination circuits are made up from the basic logic NAND gates, NOR gates, NOT gates that are combined or connected together to produce more complicated switching circuits. These logic gates are the building blocks of the combination logic circuits. So in summary, the combination logic circuit doesn't require a memory element. It doesn't have a feedback. The output will present only when the input is present. So this is the uh, block diagram of a combination logic circuit. So uh, at the center, which is shown as a block, a combination logic circuit made up of logic gates, universal gates, uh, basic gates. It has got N inputs and M outputs. So this is the uh, simple example of combination lo logic circuit uh, uh, with different gates as uh, at the input side. There is a NAND gate and the uh, uh, NOR gate. Output of these two gates is given to a AND gate. Output of the uh, in, uh, input side NAND gate uh, it has got the inputs A and B, output is obviously A, B bar. Output of the NOR gate, has a, it has got the input A, B again, its output is A plus B bar. So A, B bar and A plus B bar, uh, these two outputs are given along with the C input to the uh, AND gate which is shown at the output. Exercise assignment, what are the applications of combination logic circuits? Combination logic circuit covers arithmetic and logic functions, data transmission and code conversion. So uh, in arithmetic logic uh, uh, functions uh, are obtained by idle circuits, subtractor circuits and uh, program logic devices. Similarly, uh, data transmission can be achieved by multiplexer, demultiplexer, encoders and decoders, whereas code conversion, BCD, 7 segment and functions of combination logic circuits. The function of combination logic circuit can be specified in three main ways such as truth table, boolean algebra, logic diagram. That be. These are the references. Thank you.